a flat earth easily debunked. It is biblically impossible. There's several verses from the Bible I want to look at in a minute, but first I wanted to just talk about a few basic things that can't be true in a flat earth model. In a flat earth model you wouldn't have time zones because if the earth is flat as the sun comes up it would shine on the whole earth or it wouldn't. Um, it's it would either be light or it would be dark. Also, um, I've seen models where you've got the sun kind of going in circles. There's some real trouble with that though because no matter where you are the sun raises in the east and it sets in the west. It doesn't matter where you are, you can be any place on the entire planet the sun is always going to raise in the east. It's always going to set in the west. It doesn't do any goofy circles or anything like that. Um, so time zones, I believe, are something that very clearly eliminate any possibility of a flat earth when you've got all the massive time zones. We've got 24 different zones around the planet and there's a lot of things too. The, the earth isn't moving. Um, I'm, I'm a geocentrist, so don't even think I'm thinking we're a spinning ball. I don't at all, but I do believe that the planet is round. Um, when we look up at the sun and the moon and the stars, they obviously kind of appear to be round. They don't appear to be, you know, just flat. If they were flat, as they wouldn't around us, you know, there would be some goofy looking things happening as they go over and around us. Biblically, I believe the Bible very clearly indicates that the earth has, isn't moving at all, but I believe that it does describe movement to the sun, the moon, and the stars. Um, in Psalm 19, verses 1 through 6, it talks about the sun rejoicing as a strong man to run a race. So I believe the sun is moving very quickly and it goes all the way around the earth in 24 hours. Um, and I don't know for sure if scientists even necessarily know how far away it is exactly and precisely like they would like to think it is. And um, anyone that's watching this, I would challenge you to watch a video that I've called that I've put together called Science Fiction. It'll describe a whole lot more of where I believe science gets really weird, not science actually, because science is what we can see, test, prove, demonstrate. It's what we can know. But there's a lot of things called science that I believe are total fiction. So watch that video to see more on that. But um, now I've been one of the reasons why I'm very quick to doubt and to to disbelieve any flat Earth notions is not only does is it non-biblical, but I've had some experience of traveling in my life. I grew up in Utah. I went to the east coast of the United States. I was in Fort Dix, New Jersey and in Maryland, Massachusetts. And then I spent a year, well, uh, about a week or so short of a year in Sinop, Turkey on the other side of the planet. And for that year I made phone calls back home to Utah. And the phone calls were always like pretty close to 12 hours opposite because if it was um, night in Utah it was middle of the day in Turkey and if it you know it was right around 12 hours of difference but anyway let's look at some verses really quick that I wanted to look at that I believe definitely show that the Bible itself indicates that the earth is round um, some of these verses will probably be very familiar, some of them may not be. Job 26 verse 7 says, He stretcheth out the north over the empty place, and hangeth the earth upon nothing. So the earth is on nothing. 
Isaiah 40, verse 22. It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in. Luke 17, 34 through 36. This is Jesus talking. And he says this, I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Now this is talking, Jesus used the word in that night, but there's a picture of two men being in the field, and I believe obviously they're working in the field. So we've got a picture of at one moment in time, we've got people lying in a bed and we've got people working in the field. We've got, I believe we've got a night and day contrast going on at the exact same moment on planet Earth. Jeremiah 6.22, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. Philippians 2, verse 10, That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Now this is saying every knee shall be bow, and it talks about things under the earth, knees bowing. So we've got an opposite side to the earth, Revelation 5 verse 3. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Again, we've got men described as being under the earth and on in the earth. So I believe very clearly this is picturing that we've got a, a planet like we do. We've got a globe. We've got people on both sides of the planet. Um, Deuteronomy 13 verse 7, namely of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee or far, from, far off from thee, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. So I believe the Bible very clearly is indicating that the earth has got sides. It, it has an under, a top, um, and really, to, to be honest, I believe that we might be in America the people that would be called on the bottom of the earth, because I think the nation of Israel would probably be being referred to as on top of the earth. And Israel is around 12 hours away from us, so it's the other side of the earth. And from our perspective, you know, it's the opposite way. But anyway, I just I wanted to put this video together and hopefully give some people some things to think about, especially people that are leaning into the idea that the earth is flat. The Bible very clearly talks about the four corners of the earth, different things like that, but it's not... The Bible talks about God sitting on the circle of the earth, you know? Um, we could describe today the four corners of the earth, but if we talk today about the four corners of the earth, we're just meaning north, south, east, and west as far as you want to go. Anywhere on the planet, it's talking about everywhere on the planet. And I believe that's exactly what the Bible was talking about when it talks about things that indicate corners or things like that. It's not being literal there. I believe that it's just figuratively talking about the entire earth. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please share it with anyone that, that you would like to. Thank you very much for your time.